Hey everyone, welcome to Camping with Steve. We're at the edge of town here today in a new neighborhood with a ton of construction work going on all over the place. And I think there is a little spot that just might work. So we're gonna wander over there. Got the car parked out of the way so nobody suspects a thing. And I'm gonna get this big backpack off and hidden here ASAP. And it looks like it might rain a bit so things could get interesting. I have found that newer neighborhoods haven't quite cracked down on all the good stealth spots yet, largely because they're still under development. Uh, clearly, fence in an actual construction zone is uh, a no-no because they're riddled with security and it's also just plain dangerous and highly illegal. However, there seems to be a good spot right up ahead that I've been scoping out. Where I'm looking is right there. Right on. Porta potty there equals one problem solved already. And there is nobody down this road because it's a dead end road, aside from construction workers. But we'll see how many of them are in tomorrow because it is Sunday. Now, just gonna wander over there. Looks like these used to be small acreage homes and the city has expropriated them. And now it will turn into apparently a future park of some kind. But considering it's already listed as a park, let's break it in. Let's duck behind here where no one can see and check things out. Right. Trees are spaced really widely apart in here. And yeah, this was obviously somebody's old driveway. Well, this is pretty concealed from the road. Big open space in here. And not a lot of spots to set up a hammock. And I anticipated that. So I just brought kind of um, a ground sheet, sleeping bag, etc. Ooh. It's neat, but of course, I'm clearly not gonna be using that humongous fire pit. There is nothing stealthy about that. And moving through to the last clearing here, well, there's a few rain pieces coming down from the clouds. Um, there's the last row of trees right there. And on the other side of that is a high school. So it is the weekend and in an effort to look as least creepy as possible, we're gonna just avoid the whole school altogether and find somewhere to set up closer to that wonderful porta potty. About the best spot I've found is in through this little opening into these dwarf honeysuckles here. And nice, nice level ground. Um, visibility kind of only from this side, so I can hang up uh, some camo netting there. And this looks like it'll be a great spot. So with that said, I'm gonna empty out what I can from the pack here, and we're gonna go scavenge for some food, because the beauty of being in an urban environment is there are resources available to us. In order to cut down on the suspicion of the humongous backpack, I'm leaving most of the inexpensive stuff here under a little camo netting. I'll just bring with me valuables like the camera so that doesn't disappear on us. And uh, a lot of people are probably noticing, this isn't Thursday, what happened? Well, it's probably Sunday now and we had a severe windstorm for, you know, three days or so. And despite having one of these little wind filter things on the camera, uh, dead cat, they call it, um, it's not made of a real cat, but they have their limits and I've done this before where I filmed the whole video on the wind and the whole thing was just garbage. I had to use it for maybe B-roll, but I don't do a lot of B-roll. So I, I've been skunked before trying to film in the wind. So we just waited it out and it's a nice calm day today, but let's throw cover on this and get out of here because I did hear some people laughing, playing in the park probably, who knows, people. Okay, I got that tucked away. Just gonna take a little peek here because I did hear some voices. I wanna be sure that nobody's gonna come around and uh, try to take off with my stuff. But from here, as crummy of a job as I did of trying to disguise it, I don't know, 
I think it looks okay. That'll just do one final little sweep of the area. Then we're gonna go find some grub. And I'm getting thirsty, so I think you know what that means. All clear, or so I suspect. Time to let the hunting and gathering begin. Well, there's quite a quantity of restaurant options here. But I did bring the cooking equipment, so I'll try to make something. Um, I'm sure it'll end up costing more and tasting worse than if I just got a sub from Subway. But where's the fun in that? Yeah, I absolutely hate bringing a backpack into stores because it makes it look like I'm going for gold in the world shoplifting finals. But it's gonna work for today. Now I've got everything I need for a tasty meal in the woods. All right. Yeah, they got the plan up for turning this into a nice little park. However, I have the suspicion it is going to be at my access to where I'm going to be going into the stealth camping. There's somebody walking around and anybody around here knows that the sidewalk goes nowhere and I'm carrying groceries. So. Just pretending to be on the horn here until they wander on by. They're gone. Time for stealth. Um, I think I am medically dehydrated and it needs intervention immediately. See how quietly we can crack this beverage here. Just like we're sneaking a beer in the basement when we're teenagers. Well, that's a fail. Okay. Mom and Dad would be coming down the stairs right now to see what was happening. Hmm. Although it's quite seasonable right now, nine out of 10 meteorologists are in agreement that it's gonna go down to about five degrees Celsius tonight, which is around 40 Fahrenheit or refrigerator temperature. So I've got this wonderful new sweater, thanks to Tom and Nadine, who showed up at my birthday party and brought it along. It's absolutely perfect. And thanks to everybody that showed up at the party and for bringing step twos and cards and all that great stuff. So what we're gonna do is set up this little, uh, this little camouflage thing while we still got a bit of light. And from out here, That's, that's perfect for anybody 20, 30 feet away. That's just fine. And there shouldn't be anybody this close anyways. Because I haven't seen a lot of people around. Why do I always jinx myself saying something like that? Of course, uh, I'm not doing a shelter, I'm just gonna do under the stars because it will be cold, but it shouldn't rain too much. And if it does, wonderful canopy of leaves here should protect me, keep me somewhat dry. Lord, please forgive me for my stealthy transgressions. That bunk is sufficiently and stealthily set up and we got another half an hour or so of daylight. So I'm gonna use that remaining daylight time to enjoy the rest of my beer here. And we're gonna get to cooking in a little bit. It will be in the dark, but that's okay because we've got our, our little light here and there's enough areas that are away from anybody that we can comfortably cook here without stressing too much as long as we don't point the light towards civilization over there. It's gotten a little darker for sure, and that aids the stealthiness factor. We're talking stealth level midnight here. Even if I did see that, I wouldn't walk over to see who's behind it. Um, <laughs> but let's see if I can get a peek of what's left of the sunset over across the edge of the city that's yet to be developed. like it'll be a calm and peaceful night. I spoke too soon, the wind is whipped up. And I'm just gonna secure this, time for some steaks. 
don't mean the yum yum type, I mean... Stop this from flying around. Wait. Okay, there's lightning. Um, so we may have to buckle up and do some fancy camping here. I have no idea what's coming our way because the radar station here is going through upgrades. So the hourly forecast shows a little spattering of rain here, possibly in the next hour or two, and then it looks clear sailing after that. But in the event that it does start to come down a little bit, I've got garbage bags with me um, for picking up some garbage, which there is plenty, and we can rig them up a little bit to try and stay dry. Okay, that didn't work well. We've got, seems like hail coming down. Trying to cover things up. That rolled in quicker than I thought. And uh, it's kind of a big disaster. But, uh, oh Because I got this uh, tarp. I got a tarp here. I'll put on top of that. And, uh, Okay, so basically, I've got to hunt her down as much as possible here in this uh, wonderful <laughs> hailstorm. We we didn't get any uh, storms all summer, but yeah, being underneath of a tree is about the best place you can be in this situation. I'm kidding. However, let me see what do I got. Here? Okay. Now you're camping with Steve. <laughs> okay. Okay. Garbage bag to the rescue. All right. All right. We can do this. Okay. We've uh, got my garbage bag poncho on right now. And we're just gonna kind of wait for all this to blow over in some ways, um, hopefully. And uh, of course the, yeah, we're just gonna have to hunker down here because this is, oh yeah. This is a little bit more severe than I was expecting. And uh, 9 out of 10 meteorologists are incorrect tonight. Seems to be uh, dying down a little bit, the rain at least. Oh my. This is uh, <laughs> quite the unexpected uh, situation. Wow. It is certainly blustery, and it's supposed to be very, very cold tonight. So, I've hopefully got the sleeping bags as uh, as waterproof as I can. I gotta try to find shelter under somewhere a little bit more sheltery, shall we say. Let's go see if we can find one. Uh, it, it seems pretty dry under this tree. I'm just gonna kind of stay close to it, as dangerous as that is. But uh, most of these storms on the prairies are short-lived and we'll hope it blows over and we can get back to the comfy, comfy, hopefully dry sleeping bag. So we've clearly had a late summer splasher here and uh, that's okay. We got food to make. Hopefully I've stayed dry enough and we can come up with a really, really horrible version of Chicken chow mein. You know it's you know it's good when it comes in a dried packet like uh, this, which says chow mein on it. Now this does feature a cooking package with the chow mein spice. There's actually a couple of them in here. I'm not going to mess with that today, but I will add in my own 
flavoring here. A package of chow mein noodles, which look just like ramen noodles, but probably with different spices. I'm gonna dump in uh, a can of a uh, can of chicken breast here. Put some chunks of chicken in there. Stir it up a little bit. Look how healthy I am. Uh, I got vegetables. When you get Chinese food, or take out Chinese, not the authentic stuff, it comes with that weird gray sauce, which makes everything so delicious. Probably 90% MSG, which is good. This is the one I use. This Tikkumen uh, stir fry sauce. Tikkumen, uh, Tikkumen. But in lieu of the in lieu of the flavor packets in there, I'm gonna go. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, so a third of the bottle in there. What could go wrong with that? Um, looking like mediocre ramen to me but the secret ingredient is sesame oil does impart a flavor so give a little bit this time yeah that's a lot but mix this up in there I'm ready to try this <laughs> ramen soup chow mein thing uh, a little different than I expected it to be in my imagination but It's actually very edible. Mm -hmm. This did a great job, by the way. Garbage bag is always something to bring with you. And I have to say, at this point, um, I need to give a huge shout out to all the beer donation people. Got a couple of sleeping bags, so that's pretty good. And I think from an initial from an initial review of getting into this thing, it seems pretty good. So thank you all for suffering through my hackneyed attempt at camping, and we'll see you in the morning. Cheers everyone. Oh yeah, I can do this. Good morning. There is no happiness quite like that of a poorly prepared stealth camper that lived through the night. So uh, yeah, that was actually perfect. Uh, the perfect amount of sleeping bags. They were a little bit wet, but I stayed nice and warm through the whole night. Uh, got back into my <laughs> wet clothes, and I gotta pack this up and get somewhere warm and dry and get a hot coffee. Just like so. This stuff's available from any hunting store. It's just this camel cloth. It's got little leaf shapes cut out of it. It's good stuff. Works for this. Uh, works for this job. Right on. All packed up, and uh, we got this little garbage bag. We're gonna find a few pieces of garbage here on the way out and take them with us. I know they're gonna be leveling this place in uh, by next fall. This will be leveled and turned into a park. Um, a nice fancy one probably with a fountain. But I'll tell you one thing it won't be good for, stealth camping. So I'm glad we got this done before the park gets 
destroyed and turned into a arguably nicer park. But uh, this is one thing I won't boo, is they've staked out a gas line there. So here we go. So yeah, if anybody sees me out here picking up garbage, they'll just assume I'm completing some court-ordered community service hours or something along those lines. So, yeah, more electrical right here. Anyways, if you happen to like these videos, uh, please don't be afraid to subscribe. It does, it does help. And uh, if you are subscribed and they're just not doing them for you anymore, uh, I won't be offended if you unsubscribe either. It's a two-way street, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. And I'll get out of the woods here. And we'll see you uh, in a few days here, it should be. I'm just going to uh, head back out to the acreage and uh, get this all uploaded. So happy Sunday, everybody. We'll see you next week. And okay. we have successfully left the woods and back into what some would call civilization. We'll see you next time.